Hello guys, Schizo Saint here. Um, wanted to make a very quick video about some Bigfoot tracks that I found out in the woods of Caribou Tarhee National Forest, uh, very close to the Yellowstone National Park border in Idaho. Um, I'm going to go over what I found, what I think it could be, and just kind of the story of how I found these. Um, I'm sense a lot of you probably just clicked on the video uh, wanting to know what exactly I think these are. So the biggest evidence that these tracks are Bigfoot tracks, in my opinion, is this photo right here. We see what, in my opinion, looks like toes. This would have been the left foot of, if this was some kind of creature, this would have been the left toe or the, the left foot. Right here we see what looks like, in my opinion, to be a big toe, and then we have two smaller toes here, um, and then we have another toe right here. Now, most Bigfoot tracks have five toes, so that's already a point against it. You could argue that maybe the toes are like squished up or something, uh, making it look like one toe print. Uh, we also do see that this is a bipedal track. So we've got very clear, this is just one footprint here and then another footprint here, okay? Now, with bear tracks, and you see this with deer tracks too, and elk tracks and moose, uh, moose tracks, because they're quadrupeds, there's a very distinct pattern to the way the feet fall. And sometimes, especially you see this a lot with bear tracks, you'll see that its front right foot will take a step here, and then its back right foot will take a step here, making it look like one footprint. Honestly, that's usually pretty easy to figure out. Um, and this, to me and to my eye, absolutely looks like just two feet of some kind. So in my opinion, I think this completely rules out bear. Uh, there are certainly grizzlies in the area, but honestly, this would have been huge, uh, even for a grizzly. I mean, absolutely insane. For some context, I'm six foot five, and uh, my hands are like medium to large hand. I wear a large mechanic glove, if that helps. And uh, you can see here, here are the toes again, right? So we got one, and then we got, honestly, this looks like three toes right here. And then maybe there's another toe over there somewhere. But you can see right here just how big this was. And so width-wise, it's about right for a grizzly bear, but it's just way too long. Now, I think the second possibility here is snowshoe tracks. If this was a bipedal creature, I, I think it's the feet would have been further apart. Because um, you can see the front toes right here kind of line up or the heel is right here. Now, this is a lot more in line with like snowshoes than it is with some kind of Bigfoot track. You see with Bigfoot tracks a lot that there'll be one step here and then way over here will be its second step and then somewhere way over there will be its third step, right? So, I don't know. I think snowshoes is very likely, right? Like, yes, I, I'm pretty confident Bigfoot's real, but I don't want to just say everything is Bigfoot, right? I mean, that's the big mistake you see Bigfoot guys make is anything that could remotely be attributed to Bigfoot, they just immediately attribute it to Bigfoot. Um, I don't want to be that guy, right? So... The toes are very convincing here. It's about the right size for a Bigfoot track as well. But, you know, I'm not going to run around telling everybody that I found Bigfoot tracks. Now, to get kind of into the story here. So you might be thinking, well, this Schizo Saint guy runs a YouTube channel. Why isn't there a full-length video of him walking the full length of these tracks? Well, that is an excellent question. Uh, so the thing is, is the SD card on my GoPro that I used to film the video broke recently when I was traveling on, on a road trip. And so the extent of me walk, the, the filmed extent of me walking along the tracks is completely gone. It, it's lost to history. Uh, the SD card was snapped in half. It was in my computer. And like an idiot, I didn't take the SD card out before I packed the computer. And when I arrived at my location and got the computer out, the SD card had smashed against some other luggage and, and it was lost. And so it's so funny because when you're researching Bigfoot, you'll hear stories like that, like the camera malfunctioned or whatever. And you're like, oh, that's very convenient. Well, now I've had that experience. Now I know what it's like to be that guy. Like I'm the moron that lost the, you know, footage of me walking along the Bigfoot trackway. What you're seeing here are pictures from my iPhone and phone cameras are pretty good now but as you can see i was holding still and this is out of focus it's pretty blurry uh even more so with this picture this picture is a little better but these are the only three images i have of this experience and so 
Disappointing, man. It's disappointing. Uh, next time, the second I run into anything like this, I just need to upload it immediately to the internet and then <laughs> worry about editing it later because, you know, now I'm that guy. I'm that guy that had video of a full trackway because this trackway went for probably another good quarter mile before I lost it. Um, I was hiking in the opposite direction of where the tracks were going, and it looks like these came from the lake I was going to. So... Yeah, it's wild, man. So let me know what you guys think. I mean, listen, I go in the woods a lot, but I'm by no means an expert. Um, if you think these tracks are to some other known animal, let me know. Again, to me, it just doesn't scream grizzly. Um, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen grizzly tracks in the wild before, unless, of course, these are grizzly tracks. And I know how big grizzlies can get, but this is still just way too big. I mean, look at the size between my relatively large hand. And just the foot of whatever this was. Again, I think it could be a snowshoe, but why on earth does a snowshoe have toes? And uh, when I sent this picture to my family, my, my dad, he found, um, I guess, these kids' snowshoes that are like monster footprint snowshoes. And, you know, those are cute and all. And, like, I'm not, you know, willing to totally rule that out. But I was about a mile off the freeway. I mean, I was where no one really goes, even in the summertime. I mean, there's no trails out there. You know, I was the only guy out there for sure. And so, I don't know. I mean, it's totally possible there's someone else like me that just likes snowshoeing off trail in the wintertime. Totally possible. As you can tell, these tracks are probably more than a good few days old. Um, you know, we've got pine needles falling into the tracks. I mean, these are not, these don't seem fresh to me. Um, I mean, I don't know, maybe they are fresh, but they didn't seem that fresh to me. I will say I didn't run into any other animals. Uh, the woods were really, really quiet. When I got to the lake, there were some ducks, but the woods were really quiet. Now, it was, you know, there's still snow on the ground, and this was just two weeks ago. Even though it was late April, there was still about a foot of snow on the ground. So, I don't know, maybe the animals just weren't active yet. I, I don't know what to make of this, guys. I, I want to say it's Bigfoot really bad, but I don't know. It's not conclusive in my opinion. Now, if... You know, I die and I ask an angel, is this Bigfoot? And they say yes. I, I wouldn't be surprised, right? Like, if there was some way for me to know that this was Bigfoot tracks, I wouldn't be surprised at all. This whole incident got me thinking about, you know, the potential habitat of something like this. There's this meme that goes around, like, on the, like, Reddit, you know, I, F, I effing love science circles, of, like, all the roads in America. And it's like, you think there could still be a primate with all these roads? And it's like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, keep in mind, this is a mile off the freeway. I wasn't going super deep into the wilderness by any stretch of the imagination. But I was going to a place that was somewhat inconvenient to go to, right? And the reality is, in, in America, we like convenience. We go to places that are convenient to go to, right? Why is Yellowstone one of the most visited national parks in the country? It's not necessarily because it's the most beautiful. It's because it's convenient, right? You can drive your car. You you never have to get out of your car the entire time you're at Yellowstone, right? Uh, if you look at you know, some of these other more popular national parks, they're popular because they're easy to get to. There's infrastructure around it, right? Going to truly wild places is really difficult. And even if you like the idea of doing it, you have to be really motivated to do it because it takes up a whole freaking afternoon, right? You have to drive there. You have to spend the time to get there. You have to have the gear to get there. You have to like kind of know what you're doing so you don't die of exposure or you don't trip and die, right? And so it takes a lot of effort to go out there. And if this creature is real, it's well aware of where we go and where we do not go. Right. I mean, if the, by necessity and by the very fact that this creature is undocumented, if it indeed exists, we already know so much about it. We know it does not want to be around human beings. And all it has to be is just a few hundred feet off a freeway and it will never be found, especially in these relatively isolated, relatively unvisited national forests that are on the way to other national parks. And so I don't know, guys, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this was a Sasquatch track, but I wanted to make this quick video just to get your guys' opinion. Uh, do you think this was a Sasquatch? Uh, plain and simple, let me know. Um, I've looked at quite a few Sasquatch tracks in my life, and this has resemblance to some of them, but definitely not all of them. I don't like the square heel, for example. Actually, this is something I just noticed. Look how the heel squares off, right? Very similar to a snowshoe track. 
Um, well, I, I don't know. My snowshoes are pointed at the very end, so maybe it's not. I don't freaking know. <laughs> okay, that's why I'm making this video. <laughs> Listen, if, if you think I'm crazy, if this is just a snowshoe track, I, I, again, please leave a comment. But I don't know, man. Sometimes those woods get really quiet, and it gets really eerie. And it makes you wonder what's just beyond the tree line. I mean, this is one of those forests where you can't see more than 50 yards ahead of you anyway, right? And I had a 300 blackout AR with me, and, you know, that's the best I could do. <laughs> if I got charged by a, uh, you know, giant gorilla, I mean, I hope it would work. It might work. I don't know. But anyway, guys, I, I'm just rambling now. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, please leave a comment down below. Let me know. It, did I see Bigfoot tracks that day? Um, if not, what did I see? Have a wonderful day.